Hey great drammers, welcome to the Lakes Tasting. So today we're going to go through Whiskey Makers Reserve number one and then we're going to do Reserve number two, the one signature blend and then the one quart cask finish. And that is our Lakes Whiskey Tasting event. Look forward to having you dram along with me, leave your comments in the uh, comments below of any thoughts, feelings, fears, loves, all that kind of stuff that you have. And uh, yeah, let's chat all things Lakes Whiskey. Cheers. So let's go through Whiskey Makers number one. Now this is a, a punchy 60.6 ABV. So I'm gonna be pouring this neat and then trying it with water as well. So I reviewed this a couple of weeks ago, but just so we've got some fresh thinking on it. You know, for a 60 plus ABV whiskey, the nose isn't as fiery or scary as you might think. It's quite subtle, quite smooth. Got a tinge of the alcohol burn there, but nothing, nothing scary. Kind of oak influence for sure. Mm. And the palate, fruity, floral, cacophony of flavours coming through, intertwined by a juicy, fresh oak uh, note there as well. Really nice, a kind of a, um, a raisiny note coming through too. Let's try it with a bit of water. So I don't want to flood it, but just to kind of take it down to about 50, 52 ABV. For me, I prefer things that are slightly lower ABV than 60, and that is working exceptionally well. Really easy drinking. Do a nice little bit of spice and a positive burn on the tongue there, so it's not diminishing the flavour. But those fruits, that kind of sweet caramelly, uh, what do you call it, like salted caramel sauce almost, that you get on a fantastic. Uh, dessert of some description, like when you put it on ice cream, for example, absolutely superb. That's what I'm kind of experiencing and thinking and feeling with this whiskey. Mm. Really nice, so easy drinking, even it's still quite a high ABV. That's good stuff. Um, a really nice first marker from the Lakes Distillery as well. Sold out of this first release in what I'm assuming is record time um, and it led them to release pretty swiftly Whiskey Makers 2 which we'll go on to right now. This one also at 60.9 ABV this time. Good colour to these. This one for me on the nose is a bit sweeter. Mm. But the palette is richer. I mean, a lot more sherry influence probably through here. And wow, you can really taste it. That spice is alive, quite a stinger as well. Uh, so we'll definitely be adding water to that. But Mm. See, now I'm adding the water to the nose. It's a lot, e a lot more approachable, a lot more floral and fruity. I mean, underlying kind of caramelized fruit note there. Mm. The palate is a different animal altogether. All about berries, all about berries and muted spices and that kind of really, really nice warmth to it. Very nice whiskey. Personally, I'd probably opt over Whiskey Makers one out of the two, but that is good. We get a nice symbol of intent from the Lakes Distillery, which was of course founded in 2011. 
Next we go on to their blends. So the one signature blend is here. I'll try that. This is a rather more respectable 46.6 ABV. I may not need, I probably won't need water with this. Oof, totally different nose. A bit dusty, okay, caramelly. There's a bit of milk chocolate in there as well. Quite a bacony, meaty nose on that as well. That's quite interesting. Didn't expect that. Like a barbecue note. Palette, sweet, smooth, fruity, smoky, um, absolute breath. I don't know how do I even describe it. An incredible breadth of flavour, all within that one whiskey. Um, really interesting. That barbecue note for me just keeps coming and coming and coming. Absolutely love it. Um, the interesting kind of smoky, not by the, not a real smoky whiskey like the Freud's or your Beggs, but more in the uh, sense that it is a uh, sort of wrap of smoke around it. Like giving a little cuddle um, on the palate and definitely on the finish where the spices develop and it stays there. It's still with me right now, that one sip. Fantastic. And now the last one on the lakes is a new one. The one port cask finished whiskey. On the nose, that kind of nice bitter dark chocolate you get from a port cask is evident really, really early on. Mm. And this is my kind of blend. Absolutely phenomenal. Smoky, porty, sweety, fruity-ish blend. But something that's got a lot of, lot of whiskey happening and a lot of flavour happening as well. Mm. That is really enjoyable. And bottle, let me just check. Also 46.6% ABV. Superb. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tasting of the Lakes Distillery range. Hashtag Lakes Whiskey, of course. Um, as I said at the beginning, put your comments in the bottom about the distillery, the experience, the whiskies, their progression, what's been happening over the last year at the distillery, all of that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, look forward to hearing what you think of it, as well as you know, you listening to what I have thought of them. Cheers, until next time, goodbye.